I'm going to be showing you guys how you can edit like everybody in Opium. This includes Playboy Cardi, Ken Carson, and Destroy Lonely. Now, inside of Premiere Pro here, pulled up, I have three music videos. One by Playboy Cardi, which is Backrooms, Ken Carson, Fighting My Demons, and then Southside, Destroy Lonely, Ken Carson, President. Now, all these music videos have one thing in common. They're super grungy, whether that's like the black and white with the grain, or it's like the video that's like the, the quality has been like really brought down, mixed with a bunch of weird shots. I think their whole aesthetic is just very grungy in my opinion and i'm going to show you guys how you can get effects like that super easily today now this video is sponsored by my editing packs on my website i have a bunch of super easy to use drag and drop editing packs and one of them on there is actually an editing pack called opium looks that allows you to drag and drop effects inside of premiere pro and after effects that give you instant looks like black and white grain camcorder effects and so much more but we'll get to that later on in the video let's break down some of these effects first so starting off with backrooms here you guys can see there's a bunch of really low quality uh video effects mixed with like a camcorder now you can use the camcorder yourself but to get these really low quality video effects all you really have to do is put a video inside of premiere pro like we have here create a new sequence just by searching up 480p it says 640 by 480 so we're going to go in and change that to 640 by 480 and hitting OK, we have this right here. Now, if we go ahead and drag and drop, for example, this present music video in here, you guys are going to see it's super, super small compared to everything else. But if we go ahead and then render the full music video in this really small aspect ratio, we could then bring it back in here and you guys can see it's super small. But if we bring it in size, you guys could see the quality really took a tank and you can get a really brought down quality look just like in the backrooms music video. That's pretty self-explanatory, but that's a great way to do it. You could even bring the quality even lower than 480p and bring it back in. I just think it adds a really cool look and I think people are going to start doing that a lot more in recent music videos. Now, moving into the next video, Fighting My Demons, you have some really cool titles like this one here. You guys can do this super easily just by pressing T on your keyboard inside of Premiere Pro. And then we'll type Ken Carson and boom, the perfect font Ariel loads up. Now I'm just going to center that and make it bigger. Now, if we go into the search bar here instead of effects, we can search an effect called mosaic right here under stylize. And we'll drag and drop that on. And it doesn't look great right away, but if we go ahead and play with the horizontal and vertical blocks here, let's change it to like 150 and then 150. You guys can see, boom, we immediately have that look there. And if we unclick the uniform scale here, we can then just change the scale height and we could see almost instantly it matches the title card that's inside of these music videos here. Now we have these green camcorder effects here. This is shot in an actual high eight camcorder with night vision. So I recommend you guys do that. But if you don't have that, you can take a regular shot like uh, this one, for example, let's cut this one out and use it to create the effect. We're going to go into effects now and we're going to put on something called tint and we'll drag and drop this on here now. And you guys can see it makes the video black and white. So changing the map white to green we can add that camcorder effect here you guys could see almost instantly it doesn't look exactly like it yet but just hold on we're gonna make it look pretty good and then you can just turn that amount down there play with the percentages all right and now that we have that let's actually zoom in here and then we could add something like noise and then really turn that noise up and then going back and adding that mosaic let's do something like 300 and 300 maybe even 400 by 400 there we go. And let's put that noise below the mosaic, turn it down, and then duplicate the noise, put it above the mosaic as well, so we get double noise. Oh, wanna make sure we have two here. And I think that's a pretty accurate night vision effect, considering the fact that we're not actually doing it with the actual camera. Now, moving on here, we have a bunch of these cool effects you guys can see is the mosaic again. And a lot of it really is just super grainy, like you guys can see here, with uh, some black and white overlays and some flickers. If you guys wanna create some really cool black and white grain effects, what I recommend doing is going into effects here, applying tint just like we did before by dragging and dropping it on. And then if we go into effects and also search something called threshold and drag and drop that on, what we could do is put the, can play with the threshold amount. And then if we go into effects and add noise now, we can get a really creative look here, guys. We put the noise below the threshold and then play with the amount of the noise here. You guys can see immediately that's a very opium looking effect. <laughs> 
super fire. Now, a lot of this video is the same thing. I did a full breakdown on it on another video on my channel if you guys want to go check it out. But they have these really cool invert effects using black and white. So I'll show you guys how you can do those super quickly. So all you really have to do is just cut your clip where you want the invert to happen. So let's say right here, we're going to go and put channel invert on here just by searching it up. And it looks super sick with the black and white. But let's say, for example, we're using this Ken Carson video where the entire video isn't already black and white. Let's go to this scene here. What we'll do is we'll put invert on it and then we'll go and we'll put tint on it as well and we'll get that effect there and it's really cool if you want to turn the invert like back and forth you can like cut your footage like that and then click on each clip so we'll turn invert off here then invert off on every other one you can get a super cool look like this especially if it's a lot faster you can get those really quick flickers it's very opium-esque now they use this really cool they kind of make it like an eight millimeter camera so they have the super wide lens and they do this really cool circular effect with a little bit of blur around it so you can do that really easily let's say we have this music video here pulled up we'll go into project we'll right click we'll create a new item and then we'll do a black video right here and we'll drag and drop the black video in and then you guys will see it's just black, but we're going to go ahead and go into opacity here and create a circle. And we're just going to make it like so. And then we'll make it a bit bigger, just like that. And then under mass expansion, we're going to hit inverted. And then we're going to go ahead and play with the mask feather. You guys could see immediately we have that effect from the last video. Super hard, guys. All right, and now showing you guys the Opium Looks Pack that I was talking about at the beginning of the video here. We can open it up inside of Premiere Pro. It's also for After Effects. All you guys have to do is just drag and drop these effects on your clips, and you guys can see immediately we have that super cool grain effect if we do before and after. Then we have it with a glitch as well that's fully customizable inside of Effects. We have this one here that looks super unique with the blur, especially if the clips sped up. Then we have a couple camcorder ones that look pretty decent. Some glitch ones that really add some unique glitches. And then some scanline ones that I really like. These ones are super unique as well. And a couple more that aren't inside of here as well. And some different ones on After Effects too. If you guys want to go check out these presets, they'll be linked below on my website. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.